like, and share. Episode 13, The Faithful Brothers, St. Peru and St. Atham. Once upon a time, in the city of Sunbat, there lived two brothers named Peru and Atham. They came from a family of faithful Christians who loved to do good deeds and help others. Their parents, John and Mary, raised them with love and taught them the ways of righteousness. Peru had blonde hair with curly locks, tall stature, and striking blue eyes. Atham, on the other hand, was tall with a fair complexion, dark eyes, and a black beard. As they grew older, they continued to attend church regularly, praying and giving alms to those in need. They also offered shelter to strangers, showing kindness and hospitality to all. But the time came when persecution against Christians began to rise. Determined to protect their fellow believers, Peru and Atham set off to the town of El Farma to trade some goods. While they were there, they encountered the body of a holy saint named Noah, who had fallen into the hands of soldiers. Deeply moved by the sight, Peru and Atham bought the body with silver and brought it back to their home. In their house, they placed the saint's body in a beautiful marble sarcophagus. They hung an oil lamp before it, and miraculous events began to unfold. The two brothers contemplated the vanity of the world and the blessings of paradise. They realized the true value of their possessions and decided to distribute their wealth among the poor. With pure hearts, they journeyed to Alexandria to openly declare their faith in Christ before the governor. However, the governor, filled with anger, subjected them to severe torture. He beat and whipped them until their blood stained the ground. He even hung them up and tried to burn them alive. But in their darkest moment, an angel of the Lord appeared, rescued them, and healed their wounds. Undeterred by the governor's cruelty, Peru and Atham remained steadfast in their faith. The governor, witnessing their courage and witnessing a miracle, began to question his own beliefs. Moved by their forgiveness and the power of their prayers, he released the brothers and they returned to their beloved town, Sunbat. There, they selflessly gave away whatever was left of their money to the poor. Peru and Atham entrusted the body of St. Noah to a righteous man named Sarabman, asking him to keep an oil lamp perpetually lit before it. They knew that the presence of the saint's body would continue to bring blessings to their community but their unwavering faith would be tested once again. They bravely approached the governor, confessing their loyalty to Christ. Enraged, the governor ordered them to be beaten and dragged through the city, causing their blood to spill upon the ground. However, even in their pain, the power of their faith was revealed. A deaf and dumb woman touched some of their blood and instantly found her hearing and speech restored. She praised the Lord and confessed her belief in Jesus Christ. Witnessing this miracle, the governor and all who were present were deeply moved. Yet, despite this, the governor gave the order for Peru, Atham, and all who had witnessed the miracle to be beheaded. With courage and unwavering faith, they all received the crown of martyrdom. Sarabman, along with the people of Sunbat, respectfully took the bodies of the two saintly brothers, shrouded them, and carried them back to their hometown. A grand church was built in their honor, where their bodies and the body of Saint Noah were laid to rest. Though it is said that their bodies are now located in the church of Saint Barbara in Old Cairo, their story continues to inspire generations with the power of faith and the strength to endure trials for the sake of Christ. See you again soon. Subscribe, like and share.